Good afternoon. This is a video demonstrating my IKEA Expedit cages and a 30 gallon breeder on top where Isabel lives. So basically a mini cage door. The middle one over here was empty until last night, but unfortunately Viola and Lila had to be split up again because they got along very well for a few days and then Viola started becoming very dominant again and pushed Viola, um, Lila around and such, so I didn't let it get very far and just split them off right away. So this is Lila's setup, pretty much almost exactly the same that it was in the IKEA Billy extension cage that she had before this, before she got moved in with Viola. So she has a food platform up top over there on the IKEA cutlery wooden thing that I'm now using as a two-tier shelf, like a two-floor climbing thing. Um, this is her wheel. There's a driftwood log to climb through and a cork round tunnel. And this is her kind of litter platform with water and habit trail mini tube connecting the two platforms. This is Viola's house. She loves to run around and climb and explore and all sorts of things, so it's long and has a lot of stuff to do, which was the point. So there's a platform here with a millet spray and water, and I'll possibly put more things onto it. Uh, by the way, these Carly Wonderland pieces, this one and that one right there with a circular hole, um, those are from a Carly Wonderland treehouse playground that I took apart and used for various cages over time. So she sleeps under this large platform at the moment. Uh, her sand, wheel, also a driftwood thing that she really likes. Okay, moving on to Lucy's cage. This is her platform that she loves to hang out on. This is her favorite litter area that she actually uses as a bathroom. She's a very good girl. Her favorite wheel. And she sleeps under this log a lot. So, this is Lucy's. Moving up to Isabel's. This is a 30 gallon breeder aquarium. Um, as I mentioned in my other video, of this aquarium. It's set up fairly simply and safely because she's very clumsy and likes to fall off stuff. So I made sure that she can't really hurt herself in any way here. Um, this is a Trixie Jesper house in the corner that I put in instead of her tent. Uh, it was a fleece tent and she just liked to chew it so much that I thought it was becoming a bit unhealthy. So I took it out. There it is. And, last but not the least, this is Mr. Squirrel from Ice Age. So, thank you for watching. This is it. 